All right, 4.8 polar molecules. Now, there's a very important thing to remember. There's a reason why I separated the videos for polar bonds and polar molecules, and that's because it is possible to have polar bonds but not have polar molecules. So you can have polar bond but a non-polar molecule. Okay, and how can you tell? Well, we can tell it by SNAP. And SNAP stands for symmetrical, nonpolar, asymmetrical, polar. Okay, and what does that mean? Well, let's look at carbon dioxide, for example. All right. So here we have, right, remember, here's carbon, and it's double bonded to two oxygens, and these oxygens have a couple of pairs here. Okay. Now if we look first let's look at this bond. Okay? Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so this end of that bond is negative. This end of the bond is positive. Now let's look at this bond. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so this end of the bond is negative, and this end of the bond is positive. Now when we talk a polar molecule, okay, that means one end of the molecule has to be negative and the other end has to be positive. Well, let's look at this molecule here. This end of the molecule is negative and this other end of the molecule is negative. So that is non-polar. Now, the easier way to remember it is based on symmetry. Since this is symmetrical, where we put a, you know, one line down the middle here, this side is a mirror image of this side. It's symmetrical. It's nonpolar. Okay. And our molecules with lone pairs will tend to be polar. So if here we have NH3, right? We have and H, 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 there's a lone pair. This is asymmetrical, okay? This side is different than this side. These electrons make this side oops, tend to be negative. And the hydrogen part, since nitrogen is more electronegative than each hydrogen, this side tends to be positive. So we have one negative end, one positive end. It's asymmetrical. There's a lone pair. It is polar. Okay? H2O, you've seen me draw this how many times in class now, right? Here's oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen, and there's two lone pairs. Each bond is polar. This end tends to be negative. This end tends to be positive. This end tends to be negative. This end tends to be positive. So this entire end tends to be very negative. This entire end tends to be very positive. We have a very polar molecule. Positive end, negative end, polar. This is asymmetrical, polar. So snap, symmetrical, nonpolar. Carbon dioxide is symmetrical, so it is nonpolar. Water, asymmetrical. So it is polar. Question time. So identify the following molecules as polar and nonpolar. Look at the electronegativity difference and think about the shape. Okay, I should be able to do these. If not, go back and watch the video again. All right, that brings us to the end. I will see you guys at.